I'm Simon Delaney and welcome to part three of Spirit of Britain's restoration of our Austin 10 staff car. <laughs> We now have our staff car back from the sandblasters in a coat of light primer. Now what sandblasting does is reveal the actual condition of the metalwork on the car. And in this case it really is pretty good. But let's have a close look at the metalwork. With the condition of the car revealed from the sandblasting, we can now add filler into all the places that need a little bit of work. In this case we're looking at along the top of the guttering where there's a little bit of corrosion, which is all being filled down the A-post, a few little dings here which we'll fill. Following the sandblasting we've removed the rear wings which are simply bolted in place and that allows us to add some filler and smooth off these panels around the wing before it's refitted. At some point in its life our Austin staff car has had a bump in the rear quarter. This has been knocked out and now we will fill it and sand it back into its proper shape and obviously weld up this little split here and the boot line has been pushed out of shape slightly, so we're in the process of just adding some filler to make that a really nice shape. Onto the near side rear of the car, once again we've taken the rear wing off and added some filler along here, right down, and then along the sill where it needs quite a lot of work, just because the metal is a bit out of shape, and once we can get a nice line on that, it'll be ready to paint green. As you might expect, our Austin's had some repair work done to it over its life. One of the major areas we're going to cut out is this square panel, which has been cut back to some nice clean metal, and we'll, we'll replace that with a new piece of metal, and also this part in here. If we go around in, into the inside of the car, we can see the view of the same damage, but from the inside. On cars with this type of construction, it's often common to find corrosion where several panels meet. In this case, we've got a floor panel, which we've just removed, and the inner wing where it comes up against the chassis and this is corroded away. So I've cut this whole panel out and we'll make a new piece and fit it in place and patch up these holes here. has been sandblasted and primed. We've then repaired it, filled and sanded, and filled and sanded so that the car is reshaped to our satisfaction. Then we've given it another coat of high build primer and knocked that back and now we're ready to paint it. <laughs> So that's it for part three, and until next time, I'll see you in the past. <laughs>